Welcome to the Camping and Caravanning Club series of how-to videos. Living in a motorhome or camper van that's on a slope can be pretty uncomfortable, so in this video we're going to give you some tips on how to get on the level on the campsite. We have a new Ford Nugget camper van to help with the demonstration. There are good reasons for having your motorhome level on the pitch. It's more comfortable for living and sleeping inside, but also most fridges work best when they're level. And if it's way out, you may find the water won't drain from your sink or shower tray. The first thing is to be a bit picky about your pitch if you can, and be careful about where you put your motorhome on it. If you can avoid pitching on a slope, then that's certainly the best solution. If it's unavoidable, then position your vehicle so it's as level as possible, so you have to raise the minimum number of wheels. Don't forget to check the levels from side to side, as well as back to front. Things will also be more challenging if you're on a soft pitch, so try to find reasonably solid ground then once your camper is level, it should stay that way. There are a couple of things that make levelling easier. After a while, it's difficult to tell whether things are correct or not, so something to show you when they are is a good idea. The water in a glass will give you a level surface to work with, or a round pencil will roll towards the lowest point. But a spirit-style level like this can be left in your van ready for your next trip. Put it somewhere you can see it from the driving position. The alternative is to use an app, like this free one from Truma, which includes a feature to show when you're level. One other important point, don't try to be perfect. The idea is to be comfortable. You're not laying to level for a building site. Milenko engineered this super level indicator to be just accurate enough for the campsite, less so than a normal spirit level. So, to the practicalities. Good quality ramps come into their own here. Don't be tempted to buy cheap ones, as they could snap or warp. And the wider, the better, as this will spread the load over a larger area, making it less likely that the ramps will sink in. Once you've found your pitch, if you've got the space and the ground clearance, prepare to reverse onto the ramps rather than driving forwards. If you do this, you can drive straight off and keep going to more solid ground if the ground gets softer during your stay. Put the end of the ramp under the lower tyres, making sure they line up properly and are square with the vehicle. Push them securely in place. Now make sure everyone steps away from the vehicle. This is one of the vital safety points, both for you and your motorhome. Never let anyone hold the ramps when a motorhome is driving to or on them, just in case it lurches unexpectedly. Don't be tempted to stack ramps or put them on bricks or other blocks unless they're designed to be used like that. And don't drive off the edge or the high end of the ramp. Slow and steady are the bywords here as you drive onto the ramps. Drive to the top. It can be useful to have someone telling you outside what you're doing. And then drop gently back until your levelling gauge shows you're in the right position. Turn off the engine, leaving the vehicle in gear if you can with the parking brake on. Chalk the wheels if necessary. Chocks often fit to the ramp and they help stop the wheel rolling back down. These Trident 3 level ramps from Milenko have three pockets, so you can feel as you drive up them and only go up as far as you need to. Your wheel then sits in one of the pockets so you can avoid the need for chocks. If your motorhome has two rear axles, it's possible to put two ramps back to back like this. An alternative to the basic ramp is a lifting device. This can only be used on firm ground and must be the correct size for your wheels as it fits by sliding under the wheel. You then wind the lifting screw until the van is level. The drawback is they can be heavy and take up valuable storage space. You can get inflatable levering pads for caravans, but they aren't recommended for motorhomes as you don't have steadies or a jockey wheel to give a stable base. The ultimate way to level your motorhome is to have an electromechanical or hydraulic levelling system installed. Then all you need to do is press a button and it's all done for you but you'll need to fork out several thousand pounds to buy one and get it fitted. A decent set of ramps and something to show you when you're level will be a good deal cheaper. If you found this video useful, be sure to check out others in our How-To series on our YouTube channel. Happy camping and caravanning.